All right, let's take a look at this one. The angle of depression questions are always the most difficult. And if you looked at the lesson uh, video, you, you got a pretty good handle of this. But I want to just cover it again just because it's so tricky. First of all, um, an altitude is height. So if a plane's at 6,000, so your 6,000 is right here. That's your height. And then it says it looks down at an angle of depression. Now, sideways, that's looking at the horizon down. It's the angle from the horizon on its way down. And there isn't really a horizon here, so maybe you want to draw one in, and then the plane looks down to the island at 14. The 14 is right in there. A lot of students put it in the wrong place. They put it uh, uh, over in uh, this region right in here, but this isn't where it goes. Now, another thing you can do, you can close this off, and again, this line here is also the same altitude as it is over here. So you can do the 6,000 in either side. It's like a rectangle is what you formed. And if you want, you can bring the 14 down here and work within this little triangle right here. So you have the 6,000 as your altitude, your 14 is your angle, and it says how much farther does it have to go before it flies over the coast. And that can be uh, x here, or it can be x here. It's the same number. It doesn't much matter. So you can use the upper triangle if that's helpful, or you can use the lower triangle if that's helpful.